Hi, I'm Joe Capobianco from Hope Gallery in New Haven, Connecticut. I'm here attending the London Tattoo Convention. So first thing is what I think about how the industry has changed from when I first started 26 years ago to today. I think one of the biggest changes has been uh, the amount of really talented young tattooers that are popping up in a very, very short period of time, which has been good for the you know, business, obviously. I think one of the other big things, and I think it goes hand in hand with the amount of great tattooers that are popping up nowadays, is social media, where before the social aspect of tattooing was mainly spread through tattoo magazines, where now a lot of it's done online with things like Instagram and Facebook and all that other crap. While I think it's good, I also think it cheapens the industry. Back in the day when I first started tattooing, if somebody came up with a great style or a phenomenal tattoo, people had to wait months in order to see that tattoo. Nowadays, you know, you do a wonderful tattoo, you put it online, within moments, someone can copy that style and just become that much better at it. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's going on, man? How you been? Ah, it's fantastic, dude. Are you walk, working or are you just hanging around? I'm just hanging around, man. Oh, I'll, I'll definitely come out and see you. I'll just, all right, thank you, man. That was Mark Mahoney. That is exactly what this industry is missing today, is guys like that. Because that guy is all fucking class. All class. But yeah, I think today that it, while it's helping a lot of young artists become great tattooers, I think it kind of, I miss the, the days of tattoo magazines. I miss the days of when clients came to visit us and they searched out, you know, their tattooer and made an effort to, uh, to, to, to go to their shops as opposed to waiting for us to attend some convention that was within 15 minutes of their homes, you know? So from that perspective, I think we've just made it a bit too easy on clients, you know? So that's one of my biggest, probably, gripes with how the industry and how the, how the trade has changed over the years. So what advice would I give young tattooers popping into the industry today? It's probably gonna be the same advice I've been giving since I first started making a name for myself in this business, and it's the way I've gotten, as far as I've gotten in this business, is just simply fucking hard work. You know what I mean? There's not a day that goes by that I'm not drawing. There's not a day that goes by that I'm not thinking about what kind of tattoos are going to be going on the skin that day. And, uh, you know, constantly trying to better myself at my trade. I mean, that's the only way to get good at something is to simply do it over and over and over again. So I think it, it just comes down to sacrificing a little bit of, uh, of personal time uh, to, to just get better at what it is that you do for the rest of your life. Because I think that's the most, thing, most important thing something that a lot of artists seem to lose sight of. Um, and they think that after a certain time, they, they can stop, stop trying and stop trying to get better. I've been doing this for 26 years and I'm working harder now than I ever did in the beginning because it's that much harder to get ahead in this world and to compete with the younger tattoos that are coming into this business. I've got to work that much harder in order to keep, my, keep you know, any kind of standing in this business whatsoever. So a lot of hard work make friends, get out there, get your name out there. You know, uh, there's safety in numbers, man. And right now, I think one of the big things you're seeing is a lot of young tattooers are helping out other young tattooers. So you might, you might actually get a leg up much faster in your career if you're surrounded by a lot of other really talented, well-known tattooers. Last question was, uh, how, what's the difference between European conventions and conventions in the United States? I'd say, to me, one of the biggest differences from European conventions to conventions in the US, and this isn't all European conventions, but it definitely relates to a convention like, say, this convention, the London Convention, the Paris Convention, uh, and a handful of other conventions, is the fact that these conventions haven't lost a spark. They are, they're still attracting individuals from all over Europe, where the United States tends to be more of a um, neighborhoody kind of clientele. You hold a convention in, in, in Illinois, and you're going to get mainly Illinois people that are living around that city. Where here, you're bringing in tattooers, and you're bringing clients, you're bringing people from all over the fucking country, uh, all, over, all over Europe. I mean, there's a lot of people that are actually from the United States hanging out and hoping to get tattooed here this weekend. And that's one of the biggest things I think that the United States is missing right now, which is basically people that are willing to travel to get tattooed by the artists that they want to be tattooed by.
the London Tattoo Convention for me back in the day was like the epitome of getting into a great convention. When I first got to work this convention, fuck, 10 years ago, whatever the hell it was, it was a long fucking time ago. Um, I was ecstatic, I was blown away that I got the opportunity to work this convention. Uh, to come back to it after taking five years off um, is a huge, huge honor. I'm glad Mickey allowed it, because um, I know this is a very difficult convention to get into, but I'm super happy to be here, and it's, it's just wonderful to be around so many talented artists.